Hi, my name is Tree BC, and I am a licensed civil engineer, and I am here to help you learn more about the civil engineering ideas. Now, have you ever looked into your house and see these pipes and fixtures around? Do you have any idea how they work and what are their main functions? Well, worry no more since this video is the right one for you. Informative engineering ideas in just a click. So come and join now because in this video, we will tackle about the plumbing materials, pipe fittings, and fixtures common found at home. So future engineers, enjoy, learn, and watch until the end. Pipe is a round hollow channel used to transport liquids such as water or solid liquid mixtures such as wastewater from one point to the next. There are two categories of waste pipes, pressure pipe and drain, waste, and vent pipe or DWV. Pressure pipe delivers supply water. It must be heavy enough to hold continuous pressure without rupture and all connections must be leak-proof. DWV carries waste and soil water away. It provides a channel for waste materials to flow freely away from the fixtures and the building by the force of gravity. Examples of common pipe materials Copper pipe and tubing Brass pipe Steel and iron pipe Thermoplastic pipe Composite pipe Clay and concrete pipe Copper tubing is traditionally the most popular water supply pipe material. It is also used in water space heating systems, air conditioning and refrigeration systems, sanitary drainage, and natural gas and liquid petroleum gas piping. There are four types of copper tubing, type K, type L, type M, and DWV. Type K copper tube is available as either rigid or flexible. It is used primarily for underground water service in water supply systems. Type L, this type of tubing, is most popular for use in water supply systems. It is also available in either hard or soft temper and in coils and straight lengths much like Type K. Type L copper tubing is color-coded blue. Type M copper tube is made in hard temper and is available in straight lengths of 12 and 20 feet. It is used for branch supplies where water pressure is not too great, but it is not used for risers and mains. Type M copper tubing is color-coded red. Type TWV copper tube is the thinnest copper tube and is used in non-pressure applications. It is made in hard temper only and is obtainable in straight lengths of 20 feet. Brass pipe. Red brass piping consisting of approximately 85% copper and 15% zinc. It is used as water supply piping. Steel and iron pipe. Steel pipe is available in the following nominal diameters. 3 8, 1 half, 3 4, 1, 1 and 1 4, 1 and 1 half, 2, 2 and 1 half, 3, 3 and 1 half, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 12 inches. It is typically sold in lengths of 21 feet. There are three types of iron and steel pipe. Galvanized steel pipe. Covered with a protective coating of zinc that greatly reduces its tendency to corrode and thus extends its life expectancy. It is moderately corrosion resistant and suitable for mildly acid water.
Lightweight wrought iron pipe is the type most commonly used for water supply and fire suppression sprinklers systems. The most commonly used wrought iron pipe is galvanized. The zinc galvanized coating adds extra corrosion resistance. Cast iron pipe. Cast iron pipe is commonly used in gravity building and storm drain sewer systems. Cast iron pipes and fittings are limited to gravity pressure systems. Thermoplastic pipe. Thermoplastic pipe, sometimes referred to simply as plastic pipe, is used for water supply systems because its economy and ease of installation make it popular, especially on projects such as low-cost housing or apartments where cost economy is important. Types of thermoplastic pipes. ABS pipe, PB pipe, PE pipe, PEX pipe, PVC pipe, PP pipe, CPVC pipe, SR pipe. Composite pipes. Composite pipe is a flexible pipe material that is constructed of an aluminum tube laminated between two layers of polyethylene thermoplastic. There are two types of composite pipes, PLP pipe and PEX alpex pipe. PLP pipe is an aluminum tube laminated between two layers of PE plastic. PEX alpex pipe is an aluminum tube laminated between two layers of temperature-resistant PEX plastic. Clay and concrete pipes. Clay pipe is made from vitrified clay. Concrete pipe is cast from concrete. Pipe fittings is used to connect pipe lengths and make all the pipe turns, branch lines, couplings that join the straight runs, and stops at the end of the runs. Types of pipe fittings. Elbows, usually at 45 degrees and 90 degrees, are angular fittings used to change the direction of a supply pipe. These are used in a supply system when a line must branch off at a straight run. Couplings are used to join straight runs of pipe. Adapters are used in a supply system where threaded pipe is being connected to copper or thermoplastic. Valves are used to control flow of the water throughout the system. Proper location of valves simplifies repairs to the system, fixtures, or equipment being serviced. Valves also regulate flow to deliver the appropriate quantity of water and reduce water consumption. Types of valves Gate valves The gate valve is a manual valve that has a wedge-shaped lift that, when closed, seals tightly against two metal seats that are set at slight angles. This type of valve is usually used where the flow of the water is left either completely open or closed for most of the time. Globe valves. The globe valve is a manual compression type valve commonly used where there is occasional or periodic use such as lavatories and hose connections. This type of valve regulates the flow of water. Angle valves. The angle valve is a manual valve similar in operation to the globe valve, utilizing the same principle of compressing a washer against a metal seat to cut the flow of the water. 
It is commonly used for outside hose beams. Check valves. The check valve opens to allow the flow of the water in the direction desired and prevents flow in the other direction. There are two types of check valves. Spring check valve is a spring-loaded. Water pressure forces the gate open, much like the swing type. But when the flow stops, a spring, not gravity, forces the gate closed. Swing check valve. The pressure of the water forces the valve gate to swing open. But once the flow stops, gravity causes the gate to fall closed, preventing a reversal of the flow. Ball valves. A ball valve is a manual valve that has a ball with a hole through it and that is mounted between two seats. When the ball hole is in the line with the valve openings, full flow of water occurs. A 90 degrees rotation of the ball causes the valve to be fully closed. Metered valves. Metered valves are designed to automatically discharge for a specific length of time and thus deliver a fixed quantity of water before closing off flow. They are used on lavatories in public restrooms such as in transportation terminals, restaurants, and convention halls to ensure that water is shut off after a short period of time. Flow control valves. A flow control valve automatically adjusts the rate of water flow to a predetermined flow rate as pressure in the system varies. Thermostatic valves. A thermostatic valve Frequently called a tempering valve or mixing valve, is an automatic valve thermostatically blends hot and cold water to decide temperatures and to prevent scalding. Temperature pressure relief valves. A temperature pressure relief valve is a safety valve designed to limit pressure of a liquid, vapor, or gas. Pressure reducing valves. A pressure reducing valve is an adjustable valve designed to reduce pressure to a specific setting. Plushometer. A plushometer is a valve-like device designed to supply a fixed quantity of water for flushing toilets and urinals. When operated, it automatically shuts off after a measured amount of water flow in order to conserve water. Sensor-operated valves. Modern urinals and water closets use a sensor-operated valve that automatically flushes the fixture when a user departs. Hose beams. A hose beam, sometimes called a seal cock, is a valve designed to accept the threaded connection of a hose. This allows water near the exterior wall surface to drain out when the valve is closed to avoid freezing of water and valve damage in severe winter temperatures. Plumbing fixtures. A plumbing fixture is an approved receptacle, device, or appliance that uses water and discharges wastewater such as a water closet urinal, faucet, shower, dishwasher, drinking fountain, hose connection, hose bib, water heater, water softener, underground sprinkler, hot tub, spa, and clothes washer. Types of plumbing fixtures Water closet A plumbing fixture that serves as an indoor receptacle and removal system for human waste. Although this fixture is commonly called a toilet or commode, the building code specifically refers to it as a water closet. Waterless urinal. A waterless urinal is a urinal that is specifically engineered to eliminate potable water consumption for urinal flushing. Bidet. Bidet are personal hygiene plumbing fixtures used for genital and perennial cleanliness. Shower head. A shower head is an overhead nozzle that sprays water down on the butter. Bathtubs are plumbing fixtures used for bathing. Lavatory. A lavatory is a bathroom basin or sink used for personal hygiene. Kitchen sinks. Kitchen sinks are most commonly made of enameled cast iron or stainless steel. Drinking fountains. Drinking fountains offer users a limitless supply of drinking water at any location where water and sanitary drainage are readily available. Laundry tubs and trays. Laundry tubs, sometimes called trays, are a large deep sink used in laundry rooms. Emergency fixtures. Emergency fixtures include eye face washes, drench showers, decontamination units, portable and accessories designed for use wherever hazardous substances are present. Other types of fixtures include baptisteries, ornamental pans, 
fountains, and aquariums.